We know now more than we've ever known about actually how to prevent disease. And yet we have segments of our community, particularly African Americans and Latinos, dying before their time. So the message, you know, the science of medicine and, and, and public health has not reached everyone. And that's why it's so exciting to finally have a corporate partner that recognizes that business as usual is not working and that they're willing to do something innovative and different. Ladies and gentlemen, just so we can have your attention just for a moment. Uh, we're, we're really excited to be here to announce our special initiative uh, that is our Health Advocates in Reach and Research Initiative uh, that brings us to uh, the shop here in Hyattsville to actually launch a health campaign around colorectal cancer screening. When we've looked at data for health disparities for the last 20 years, people have been talking about it, measuring about it, putting out pilots, and really that gap has stayed the same for 20 years. So whatever the message and the intent was, it wasn't getting out. And what we realized is that for us to really improve health and to close that gap in health disparities, we needed to try a different approach and try a new channel of communication. We're so happy that Cigna Foundation is really supporting this and they believe in our concept. They believe that we can make a difference, that barbershops who are in the community, who are part of the community, can be part of the solution. We are very passionate about improving the health of the communities in which we live and serve. So this initiative with University of Maryland is designed to reach individuals where they can get the information more readily and in an environment that is not threatening and trusted. We've been working together for the past two years making setting the stage for this moment right, right now. Everyone comes to the barber shop. We have lawyers, doctors, senators, executives, trash men, guys who work at, you know, at Safeway and things of that nature. You have all different levels of, uh, you know, of people working in work, you know, work fields. But many of us, you know, especially in our black community, um, are missing a lot of information to stay healthy. And a lot of us are actually dying from things that could be prevented. They're going to train us and we're going to train the community one by one in the chair. The barbershop definitely is the place where we come and we, you know, everybody talks and speaks whatever whatever's going on in their life. You say stuff in here that you may not say somewhere else. Since this initiative has happened, it's being discussed on, probably on a daily basis. You know, whether we're talking about, hey man, when the last time you had your checkup, or did you go take a part, participate in this, you know? And it becomes now, it's, it's almost, it has become fashionable to be involved in your self-help. My uh, father actually was a victim of it, of the colorectal cancer and eventually killed him. This is for real. It's, it's not a game. I'm a, um, it, didn't, it affected me directly because of the relationship I had with my father. And um, to lose him was, um, I miss him. And, you know, it, I wouldn't want anybody to go through what I went through. So this information that we have here, I, I think is very vital. And it's gonna, um, I just hope it changed people's lives.